Another day, another dollar, another dream. Oh, you know, today back here at the auction, ended up getting one car. You know, it's a 04 Honda Coupe for 600. You know, somebody got a little RS over there popping. Somebody got a little RS Rally Sport. Oh, they got hit in the front. Oh, man. Ah oh, man. Ah oh, man, that sucks. I know they hurt. You put the new wheels on it too, and you get hit. And you need some new T tops, but pretty cool. I know they be. getting freaking cold out here should have hopped in a corvette i still think about i should have got this little truck i should be always think about I always think about stuff after the fact i definitely should have got this little truck i definitely should have got it i definitely sh should have got to this little truck look at this truck ain't even picked well there's nothing wrong with it really a little pink job body man definitely could have fixed that bumper i mean fixed that fender could have fixed that fender or he could have just replaced it with a starter fit one because if he was gonna get a pain regardless starter fit hung that everything back up hung that bumper yeah you could have got it where's my car though because it's freaking it is freaking a little celica you wanna where's my car we're gonna about to hop in one of these cars and drive it around uh, which one? We like these Nissan. Let's hop in this Nissan Frontier right here. With only 14,000 miles on the meter. Whew. Well, you just hustled you a cigarette. <laughs> hustled you a cigarette from the dude over there that's not doing nothing. Fat dude, motherfucking. Getting getting you know, paid sitting in the good old heat. That's the best job. Checking yeah, yeah. car. Checking car, your back in heat. Hey, well, they wanted all the. Y'all seen they gave all the money for that Corolla. They gave all the money for that old Corolla. Yeah, you know, these high ass motherfucking mobile home, mobile bank, whatever you want. Yeah, we're gonna buy you one and let you sleep at the lot. That's what you're gonna need. Uh, yeah, buy that big, buy one of the big motherfuckers. Sit back there. Let you bet a lot. Keep keep watch on the merchandise. <laughs> I'll be good in that motherfucker too. Yeah, get you a good little heater and stuff. Get my car. Right. Honda. Yeah, a Honda Coupe, two door Honda Coupe. It, you know, you know what I buy. You know, it's got a, it's gonna be the beat up looking, most beat up looking one out there. But I guarantee it probably run good though. I don't know. I didn't really even check it out. You know, I was in the other land recording and then I turned around, I heard the price going going low. And then it got up to 600, which I, you know, I might have should have checked it out a little bit more, but hey, it's a Honda, you know. It's a Honda. Let's go check on it. Don't let me through here. Trying to hit nobody's stuff in this fancy truck over here. And they be 
like, oh, no, you wrecked that truck. I'm like, nope. There we go. There go my Honda Coupe. There go my Honda Coupe with the beat up hood on it. if you can get the hood open on that thing. Woo! I didn't know she was all these different colors. A little hell damage on the hood. Both fenders is... With a hood pop. Bungee thing on it. So I guess we just gotta trust it. Trust and believe. Oh. Oh, snap. They didn't get me. Me, I used to miss the bus all the time. Right, so you know I well miss missing the bus. I had to walk, you know, walk to school. It was a good like 30 minute walk to school, man. It was like a good so the school wasn't really like that far if you drove, it was like really like a couple minute drive if you drove and like catch the bus and stuff. But if you was walking, it was a good old minute. But let me go catch up with him. Actually, let me call my brother because he just called me. So be right back with y'all. So I might see y'all at the lot or if we stop, I might see y'all then. Let's go. So he up there rolling. You know, he drive really, really slow. You know, you see, you see it's the green light, green as day, but you know, he a little, he a little old. See the beautiful scenery of Oklahoma on this cold day. The south side of Oklahoma. but you know it's cold so we just got to take the chance on it I honestly didn't know I honestly didn't pay no attention that the fenders was like black and so I don't know I have to see maybe maybe my body man can give me a deal on like painting I mean, if he can give me a deal, but if he can't give me, I mean, he probably couldn't, he probably can't give me a deal better than Mako, so it's like, I don't think he can give me a deal better than, you know, because I know he's he's got about a paint, so he's got about a paint to match, and then he'll be painting, then he'll be painting a hood of two fenders, and, uh, you know, it's really, like the front bumper, like on um, like like the front bumper, I honestly don't mind it being, you know, that's my thing. Like I honestly don't mind a front bumper being black on a car. Like the front bumper on a car, I don't I don't mind I don't mind that being black. It's just like the fenders. You don't want the fenders and stuff like that. The fenders in the hood and stuff like that. I honestly, I'm gonna look at the salvage art and see if they got the matching color because if they got the matching color at least for the at least for the hood and the two fenders you know i gotta see how it depend on it how it runs and everything but if they got the hood and the two fenders i'm cool if they got the just the hood and two fenders if they ain't got the bumper that's fine i go to certified i don't mind putting the black bumper on there because putting the black bumper or certified black bumper on there it doesn't the front bumper doesn't make it look bad but when the fenders and all that stuff are different because i mean it's still a honda so at the end of the day it is, a, and it's a Civic Coupe, you know. But things that I do, like here's things too that I that here's cheap things that you can do. Like I said, I will always explain like cheap things that you can do to your car, you know. Like the guy was telling me in the comment video, you can put the Bluetooth radios in there. Like he said, like forty dollars. They they are like forty dollars, you know. And Bluetooth radios, you gonna it's gonna help you sell cars, you know that. Like radios in general people love driving the music and stuff like that so you know bluetooth radio you can always put those in the car uh but the thing that you can do this mechanically that you know that go to here that where you when you sell them you ain't gonna have no issues that you have less than your issues and less than a callback and that's cheap 
is you know thermal you can change the thermostat you can you can turn like uh, things i would like you can change your thermostat you know to change the thermostat in the car because these are things that you know the small they're the small things but they can cause the car to have problems and you don't know exactly when they're going to go out these are small things that you can do if you if you just want to not saying that you always need to or you not necessarily need to but like the so making sure that it's a less likely chance that something's going to go wrong when a person leaves like changing the thermostats in the car like changing the thermostats you know but you know but you don't really have to do that but you can but changing the thermostat like the serpentine belts uh, the serpentine belts the belts um and changing the oil and the valve cover gasket those all things are you know you can go to these little you know and like you can just go into like these little quick stops little and get the oil change you know these ain't your this ain't your personal car this is the car you're going to sell so you know you don't have to put the pre premium performance top of the line oil in there man just go in there and get an oil change in there you don't have to put the premium package of premium package oil change in there whatever you know don't have to put that one so just go get like a regular oil change you know little quick stop shops on the corner 25 dollars 30 dollars you know throw that little oil change in there change the sir you can change the serpentine belts you know and valve cover valve cover gases don't cost much and they're not uh, on most cars they're not that hard to change some cars the valve cover cap the valve cover is in the back so it is a little bit harder to change but on most yeah, but it really doesn't take a person that long to change it but those is one thing because you know like a lot of times you buy a car and it's you know per some people don't a lot of people don't keep up with the oil change a lot of people don't keep up with the maintenance on the cars anyway and and then a lot of times like the oil would be leaking like and then most of the time it's leaking from the valve cover like when you see like the oil and stuff building up it's most of the time majority of the time it's leaking from the valve cover so you know you know switch out your belts oil change your valve cover gases you know thermostat if you need to you really don't and that thermostat is really one that no nah, nah, it's not that not like the other one but like the oil change the valve cover and the belts those three right there and then you know after you do that valve cover you know spray it off underneath the hood you know good detail you know it's a good detail clean it up make it look good so you know so then you know you spray it off and then people look under there and they see that new fresh valve cover and stuff like that like okay you got that fresh valve cover then you know you get like one of the get those when you get the oil change you know make sure they get that sticker up there you know because people because people like hopping in the car like if you hop in the car and you see that oil change you're like okay and they just got the oil change. and they check the oil and like like yeah we just got the oil change and then it's got the little service record up there because you know when people see that they think like just automatically the car just been serviced fully, fully through and through but it's not always like that but you know you at least got the oil change but let's keep following on obviously you're riding good it ain't running hot so obviously that's a good thing so now I'm just trying to find matching up the colors you know matching up the colors you know, we can match it up. If we can match it up without having to pay Mako all that money, it'll be great, you know, honestly. And then depending on the running condition, like if it needs the brakes, probably gonna need some brakes and stuff like that. And if the transmission and everything is good and everything, you know, fix the minor little stuff and then, you know, make that money. Because, you know, you can't even take it to Mako and just have Mako paint the fenders, you know, because Mako's always, it's always cheaper just to paint the whole car because, you know, if you try to tell Mako, like, oh, we just need the one, we just need you to um, paint, I just need you to paint the fenders in the two hoods, you know, they're going to be like, nope, you know, they're going to give you, like, some crazy price and telling them just to paint the whole car. So it's really, like, it's a Honda and people be wrecking these Hondas and blowing them up and stuff like that. Yeah, you see, he can't even drive. I don't even know what he's doing. He about to get hit over here. He about to get the bumper knocked off my car. He out there swerving in the lane. Y'all see him all up in the other lane. About to get the back toe off of there.
like Mako and stuff like that and all those places is, is cheaper um, just to get the whole car painted like instead of just painting two but if we can find a hood then I can take it to my guy Wilson if he can paint just the if he can paint the hood in the two fenders if we can find a good hood without the hell damage on there you know and I can get a certified bumper so if he can if he can paint the hood in the fenders for like 250 it depends on if it runs good I will be good if I if I paid six you know plus bar fee so we like said we like seven we like this seven so if I can invest three no more than 400 in the car it make it look good I know it's a Honda coupe I know I can get 2500 I know I can get um, 2500 you know so probably get more you know this is a Honda Civic coupe you know Somebody just called me like, I don't know, people just be calling me all day, like, I don't know, really be freaking on, like, you calling me for what? I think it was probably the detail shop, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know, people just be calling me, and I'm recording videos, and they trying to stop the grind, but the grind don't stop it, that only just starts over again, but we almost at the shop. But you gotta hunk the horn at him, you know. Yeah, hunk the horn at him. But y'all see, we ain't. Our lot is about 10, 10 minute, a lot about a good 10 minute drive from the auction, you know. A lot of a good 10 minute drive, you know. We got auto techs on the corner. We got the detail shop. Y'all see the, y'all see the sob over there done. They got a car audio shop over there, church, uh, alignment shop over there. Where the alignment shop? And it's one of it's one of these buildings. I think it was over there. I think we passed it, but it's the Terry's alignment, you know, the detail shop, and you know, we coming down the street, you know, to the lot. We, we, we ain't nothing but just a hop, jumping and skip away from the from the auction, but it, you know, that's is. It is a good little drive, like 10, 10, 15 minutes, you know. And then, if it was Monday, I would let the car like warm up and stuff like that, you know. You know, Monday is usually when I come in and start up all the cars. You just make sure they all running right. That's a good thing to always do on Monday. So we just made it. So let me go. And let me let me let me go. Let me go get y'all. What are you gonna say? Y'all know what he. Y'all know what he gonna say. It runs. It runs. You ain't gonna tell me nothing else about it. It runs. I run. It runs. Like the Miami is out of Miami, because the steering would be like that. Uh, you'll be out of line. need a motor mount. You'll be out of line too if, you, if somebody knocked your bump off. Yeah. I mean, tip your hand don't work. It must don't work because the motherfucker ain't moving. No, they ain't moving. They just ain't warm. Moving. Don't get high and get warm. Get warm. Probably need a thermostat or something. Fuck you. Know. Thermos, thermostat or a temperature sensor? Probably a temp. Probably a temperature sensor. That's probably what the. That's probably why the check engine light on. Probably defective temperature sensor. All right. If y'all haven't already, you know, like this video, subscribe to the channel. I'm out. Peace.